Justin Timberlake took a plea deal after being charged for drinking and driving in Sag Harbor. And joining us, Page Six editor Ian Moore, to get us all caught up on what exactly happened. So he pled guilty to a lesser offense, right? Yeah, uh, thanks, Astra. He, so it was expected, as we were reported yesterday, that Justin Timberlake was going to take a lesser charge, right? He was going to plea down to a traffic violation rather than a DWI. Um, so, it, you know, it's not a criminal offense or anything like that. But there was one thing that was unexpected, which is the judge made him go outside the courtroom and deliver a public service announcement about the dangers of drunk driving on the spot. So he did like a three minute um, PSA and a public apology right in front of the courtroom. So he was like, had to be ready and on camera. Wow. I mean, mm -hmm. here's the question, though. How did he end up landing that plea deal? Because I know a lot of people are kind of like, wait a second. Well, it's interesting. I, I spoke to the Suffolk County District Attorney um, yesterday evening before they they did this deal and he did explain I think a lot of people thought that Justin Timberlake was getting sort of preferential treatment right because how could he go from a DUI down to this traffic violation he'll have to pay $500 plus a $260 surcharge and he'll have to do about 25 hours of community service at the charity of his choice so get ready to see him in the Hamptons doing that I'm sure there'll be paparazzi photos but the DA did explain that they they didn't treat him, you know, specially. They didn't treat him like a VIP. And that this type of deal in this situation was similar to what another person might get. Now, while he was outside the courthouse, besides doing the PSA, was there anything else that he spoke about? Uh, you know, well, he did say, uh, you know, he apologized to the public. He said he made a mistake. And he basically said, don't get behind the wheel of a car, even if you've had one drink. I mean, one thing that's interesting is that sort of a reference to the, the entire time he had said he had one martini. That's what they always say. Right. That he had had one martini at the American Hotel in Sag Harbor before he drove and was saying that he wasn't drunk. So he basically kind of he threw that it that got into his apology. So he said, you know, even if you've had one drink, don't get behind the wheel of a car. Don't make my mistake. Take an Uber, et cetera. Which I'm glad he did. I mean, there's a lot of accidents that do happen because of reckless driving, driving while under the influences, driving while impaired. That's, and, a, uh, that's a good point. Like, actually, I mean, I think the judge in this case is smart because a PSA from Justin Timberlake could make a difference with people, even though you'll remember that the arresting officer was so young, he, he was. didn't even know who he was. <laughs> so maybe, it, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe the youth will not appreciate it. But, um, but yeah, so, so the case is over. I mean, one thing that is interesting, too, which I have to ask about is like, you know, did he have hair and makeup for this? Like, if you're sort of going to, like, hey, go outside and jump on camera. I mean, he was pretty fashionably dressed, although I thought he could have worn, like, a jacket and a tie, but that's just me. And I when's the community service fun. after the world tour? Right, <laughs> right, exactly. So, yeah, we'll see what the community service is. So he'll be back in the Hamptons, but it might not be at the beach. Well, of course, be doing community <laughs> service in the winter in Sag Harbor. <laughs> and of course, you know who's going to be Could keeping be you up to date on where exactly he does the community service and when, right here at page6.com.